Hey, it's uh, Lou, just Lou here again. Been seeing these things all over the internet. Um, people call them uh, magnetic trains or uh, maglevs, but essentially it's a battery. In this case, this is a AAA battery hooked on to some um, rare earth magnets. These are half inch rare earth magnets. I, I bought them at Lowe's. Um, and then you attach them to the battery at either end. You want to make sure that the poles of the batteries, if I was to try to put this pole to this pole, that they would push apart. They're going to actually push apart. And then you put the battery right in between. That's important because as the uh, electrical current is generated to push this forward, uh, creating an electromagnet, I guess, um, the polarity is uh, pretty critical. Also, um, which direction you put it in also matters. Um, you can try to put it in one way, and if it starts to push back out, just flip it around. Um, but for me, the direction is like this. And what you have is your, your little train here, and then a coil of wire. So if you look at this, it's just a, um, a loop of wire that I've wound up, um, not manually or anything, but um, because that would take forever. I've seen some people try to do that. And um, you wind this wire up and lay it in a track to kind of keep it level. Uh, try as best I could to get it evenly spaced. Clearly, didn't do a great job there, but it still seems to work pretty well. So let's go ahead and put the magnet through and the battery and see what happens. <laughs> so it just shoots it from one end to the other. Uh, one of the other important things is the battery size needs to be smaller than the magnets. So you can see that the battery actually is a little bit larger than this AAA, or uh, the magnets are a little bit larger than this AAA battery, and that keeps the battery from dragging and catching. The other thing I did is on the positive pole, there's typically a little um, dimple, uh, and I made like a small washer to kind of space that out. It's hard to see, it's white there. Um, but that keeps the batteries from twisting one way or the other and kind of keeps them flat. So, <laughs> one into the other. The other thing you're going to notice when you start playing with these is that uh, it will actually chew up the batteries pretty fast. Um, I get maybe 20 trips through and then it starts to go slower and slower. Uh, so you'll, you'll go through a lot of uh, AAA batteries. And I wonder if the battery manufacturers aren't kind of uh, sponsoring this or something. But... Um, you, you will go through quite a few batteries. Uh, now, in order to create the, the actual coil that you're going to go through, uh, a couple of things. It, it needs to be just slightly larger than the magnets. So my magnets are a half an inch. Uh, the diameter is half an inch. Um, I've got three on either end. It's just they came in a package of six, so I thought I'd just put them all on there. I haven't noticed a whole lot of difference. Um, I, I know that if I only put one, it doesn't really work at all. But uh, with three, with two, it works fairly well, and with three, it, it goes fairly fast. Um, you need wire. I bought this off of Amazon. I think it is probably 18 gauge, maybe 20, and it's uninsulated. So don't buy magnet wire because that'll have a, a lacquer coating. And it won't work with that. It has to be completely uninsulated. And then I wrapped it, wrapped it in a coil. So instead of doing that manually, I created this contraption, which is basically my, my drill set on a slow speed. And then I took a dowel, a half inch dowel, wrapped a little bit of tape around it, and then put a half inch piece of copper pipe on there. Had I wrapped it right to the dowel, um, it probably would have been too tight. So the outside diameter of a half inch copper pipe is five eighths of an inch, at least this one is. So I got a um, coil that's a little bit bigger than the actual magnet size, and it seems to work pretty well. I, don't, I wouldn't recommend winding these by hand, although I suppose it's possible. Um, I wound this entire coil, which actually is unwound, it'd probably be another foot longer. I kind of compressed it to put it on this little wooden holder. Um, I wound that entire coil in about minute, minute and a half using the drill. So it's a much faster way to go. 
uh, definitely recommend doing it that way. I hope you get out and uh, try to build one of these yourselves. It's a lot of fun and it wasn't too bad. Uh, I think the magnets were six or seven dollars and uh, the spool of copper was about 15 or 20. Uh, copper's fairly expensive these days. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you again later. Bye.